everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports. Today we're gonna blow people's minds with flex fuel tuning for the Maverick R, Maverick R Max, coming soon for the X3 as well. And uh, this is you know, something we've been working on. We've had this idea for a long time, finally got around to, to implementing it, and it is so cool. Uh, people are gonna love it. But before we get into the technical details of how this works, I do want to you know, just give customers a brief overview of you know, what is flex fuel, uh, why would you wanna run E85 fuel, and you know, what are the benefits of it, and, uh, and what are the barriers that people have today to running ethanol-based fuels. First of all, what is flex fuel? Okay, flex fuel is a, a program that we've designed uh, for the Maverick R, Maverick R Max, that incorporates you know, basically a GM flex fuel sensor uh, with our hardware uh, that basically just gets incorporated into the fuel system. And um, what it does is it reads the ethanol content in the fuel and allows us to take advantage of you know, the ethanol content, um, which you know, has great properties for making power, especially on turbocharged cars. And what we've seen is that you know, um, our, when we do tuning uh, on any vehicle for pump gas, we'll get pure non-oxygenated, uh, which means no ethanol content fuel, and then we tune on that. And what we found is that even with the, the way uh, most fuels that you buy at the pump are E10, that there is a small advantage to be had with just that 10% ethanol content. Okay, we can make a bit more power uh, and uh, the flex fuel allows us to take advantage of that. But not only that, if we can go all the way to E, you know, basically E98, and the tune will self-compensate for that, making more and more power the higher the ethanol content is. So now that we've explained what flex fuel is, okay, people ask, well, why, why would I even want to run uh, E85, pump E85 or any E85? The thing is, E85 is better race fuel than virtually any gasoline uh, that's available out there, including 100 low lead, you know, uh, 110 leaded, MS109. The fact is, <clears throat> we can make more power safely on E85 than anything else. Okay, and the cool thing about it is, um, you know, like for most of the tuning that we do, you know, currently you've got to be in that window. Like you got to be in that 80, you know, on, on the Mavr and, and some of the wideband controller vehicles. We can be down to E70, up to E90, but that's pretty much the range, okay? And, and a lot of the pump E85 that you get uh, is not in that range, so it's, it's not going to run properly in the car, and nor will, it, nor will the tune automatically adjust for uh, those lower quality, um, you know, ethanol contents. And at E70, the car's just not going to fuel properly. It'll run, but it won't be proper. Um, but like I said, E85 or ethanol-based fuels are the safest, cheapest fuels that we can get. Okay, and a lot of people uh, may not know that, uh, but also a lot of people don't want to deal with the hassle involved with E85, right? And because you're going to use more fuel. It's the best race fuel, but you're going to use more of it, so people get range anxiety. Uh, you know, what happens if I run out? And a lot of times they're stuck with using, um, you know, buying E85 out of the barrel, which is very expensive. It's almost as expensive as race fuel. Uh, or they've got to go to various uh, stations that sell E85 with their tester, test the fuel that day. Um, and that can change, like you can get E85 out of the pump at, at a particular gas station one day, they get a fuel delivery, the next day it's E50, okay? That happens frequently. Right, so, so it's a hassle to run E85. We've designed this to where we take all the hassle out of it. Okay, you wanna, you wanna run pump E85, which is like 265 a gallon, fill it up, okay? The tune will automatically adjust. If it's E50, the ignition and boost will reduce uh, to where it's safe on E50. Fueling will be correct. Uh, or let's just say you go on, a, on a, a poker run and you start out with E85 in the tank, <clears throat> excuse me and now you you know you go 100 miles you're out of fuel you go on a poker run you're running 85 you're out of fuel okay now what do i do well you just pull up to the gas station they don't have e85 you put 91 octane in it the uh the the tune adjusts in real time 
uh, for the fuel that you put in the tank. So again, you know, why run E85? Well, E85 on the Maverick R, Maverick R Max, we can get almost 90 wheel horsepower more than on pump gas, okay? That's why people wanna run E85. Again, it's the best, safest fuel you can get, and uh, that ethanol content allows us to make ridiculous amounts of power, even on a stock turbo car. So that's the main reason why people wanna run it. Um, and with the flex fuel, we take all the hassle out of you know uh, using that fuel. Okay, now that we've talked about you know the features and benefits uh, and drawbacks uh, and how our flex fuel uh, setup um, really makes it a no-brainer to run E85, I want to talk a little bit about the programming, you know what we've done and how we've you know, like built in a lot of safety uh, into the system. Okay, so uh, first of all, um, you know there's always a possibility with with some kind of sensor or any mechanical device that you could have like let's just say uh, you know you go through mud uh, even though we we engineer all the stuff to be waterproof let's just say you go through mud or you get a stick and it punctures the wiring harness you know for the flex fuel sensor what happens is as soon as the ecu uh, loses that reading from the flex fuel sensor it will revert to the lowest boost and ignition tables uh, in th that that are you know it's it's basically our stage one uh, tuning which is uh, you know basically zero ethanol content so the car will continue to run properly in other words the the it will still recognize whatever that last um, percentage of ethanol was in the fuel but it will revert back to the lowest boost and ignition settings okay so it provides a ton of safety so if you ever have a problem uh, with the system, you have whatever fuel is in the tank to get you back to wherever you need to be and then figure out what happened to it. Okay, we felt like it was very important to do that because we don't want to have customers, uh, you know, ha lose, you know, connection to the sensor and then now they're running, you know, some crazy boost numbers on fuel that, you know, is not designed for that. We've designed the system to be completely plug and play. It, it is designed for the Maverick R, Mavr Max. Uh, everything fits where it's supposed to. You just plug it into the diagnostic port. You uh, plumb in your flex fuel sensor into uh, the factory fuel hose and, uh, and then flash the ECU. It's one program that does it. It's available for both the stock turbo and the P47. It will use our rising rate fuel pump assembly. For those that are running X85 tuning already, that's the fuel system that you'll, you'll use. Um, and it's, it's, it's absolutely badass. One other thing, you know, we, we also released our auxiliary fuel tanks this year. And part of it was, you know, we had this project in mind. I ride myself out in Glamis. I ride in Arizona. We take long trips. Okay. I wanted, you know, I want to have all the power that E85 can give me, but you know, I want to fill up my auxiliary tanks with pump gas, right? So, so if we get way far out and I got to come back, you know, 200 miles, I've got pump gas in the auxiliary tanks. Uh, like I said earlier, the tune adjusts in real time. So as soon as it sees that ethanol content change, it derates or, you know, ups the power level depending upon that ethanol content. So we, we've really thought about this uh, and, and how customers are gonna use it. And, you know, this just gives you the ultimate and flexibility to run the best fuels possible. One other fun feature is that uh, Code Shooter will have a, a new data field that allows you to read the ethanol content of your fuel live. Uh, that will be implemented sometime in the near future. So uh, there's no need to carry a tester with you anymore. You can just read it right off of Code Shooter. This cool new uh, programming and hardware will be available April of 2025. Uh, this is the absolutely the one of the best things we've ever done for the off-road community. And like I said earlier, uh, Mavar Max and Mavar are just the beginning. Uh, we will be bringing this to the X3 and other platforms in the near future, so stay tuned.